everybody, Fairwind Cosplay here. This is just a quick update video on my dioramas, which I will have for sale at my booth at the Long Island Comic Book Expo this weekend, Sunday, November 4th. I will be a cosplay guest, cosplay contest judge, and panelist at the convention. More on that later. But I wanted to show you more of my work on the Pokemon dioramas that I've been working on since August. So I will have a bunch of these up for sale. Sandslash is a commission, so he is not available, but all of these models are my smaller models and will range from $15 to $25 based on how difficult or um, any extra pieces might have added to the cost. So Q would be on the more expensive side, it would be about $25. So this Halloween themed model is so cute and I hope you can give Q a good home. Radicate is 15. Radicate's been with me since the Retro Gaming Expo and she hopes that you can give her a home. She loves burying items in the ground and digging them up for you. Here's Venonat, who is also with me since August. She's doing her best and she loves big hugs, so make sure that you hug this giant bug and take her home with you. Ghastly is a Halloween trickster. This one would also run about $20 to $25 because of the extra piece that's involved. Ghastly's in a spooky forest and would like to continue making some Halloween mischief after the holiday. Here's Gloom. Gloom is a new one. Gloom would run about $15 to $20 based on the pieces that I've made for it. Um, Gloom loves the flowers and sunshine and would love to have you adopt her. She will make all of your flowers bloom, and don't worry, she doesn't smell. That's just the pollen. Then there is Wooper, who is a very good boy. Wooper would love for you to be his forever friend, and he likes swimming in his pond and hanging out with old friends and new. So Wooper would also be about $15 to $20. Here is Sandshrew, a small model. This one would be about $15. Sandshrew is going berry hunting and he is collecting as much food as he can to last in the sandstorm. So if you would like to give Sandshrew all the berries he can eat, he will be $15. And this Sand Slash commission is not for sale, but I wanted to show you what he looked like. This is one of my more advanced models. Uh, Sand Slash is ready for battle on top of a desert outcropping, and uh, you don't want to mess with Sand Slash. So again, these are my little models. I also make them on commission. Depending on the size and difficulty of the piece, the price may range. Last time I had large pieces that went for an upwards of $35. These are all small end pieces but I can be commissioned to make whatever you want. So please let me know if you would like one or uh, what Pokemon you would like to see in a model that I make at a later date. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more info about the Long Island Comic Book Expo coming soon. See you later. Bye.